Good morning. So you see the topic at hand and I have my notes to make sure that I hit on all of the points that I want to hit in this message. So under patriarchy, men being born with a peen was enough to guarantee you a little miniature domicile, a little miniature kingdom. And this is where you are allowed power and control and the big piece of chicken and a sandwich at 3 a.m. This is your little miniature kingdom. And this is honestly how the powers that be, the actual leaders and the moneyed people kept the peons and peasants under control because it was like even the poorest, the most unattractive, the personality list um, men's would still have a wife and children in their home no matter what. Being born with a peen came with privileges and um, it, they had no control outside of their home. But as soon as they come in, they, they got people to kiss the ring, they, they're in control and they get the big piece of chicken and get served first. This was going swimmingly as long as women and girls were still viewed and treated as livestock or property. And yes, women were treated like property. Um, coverture laws were a thing and coverture laws had to be swiped off the books. Coverture laws meant that you were the property of your father until you got married and then you became the property of your husband. So, and that's in this country. Women and girls are still treated like livestock in other countries, getting traded for cattle and goat. So the property laws, the laws where we're still seen as something to be traded are still on the books global. But here, as women were able to get these rights and freedom, and we transitioned from being like cattle or like a goat into being a human, and we got some rights and we could actually go to work ourselves and have some financial freedom, and then we got the freedom to do what we wanted to with our bodies and control our fertility. Now, men's are failing and flailing, and the patriarchy is crumbling, especially since the, the religiosity is declining, as the birth control goes up and women are able to control themselves and religion is not used to shame women, we're like, look, look, bruh, we're going to have to be, we're going to have to control this household together. We're going to have to run this together as a partnership. And the men are like, no, where's my chicken? Where's my sandwich? I'm supposed to eat first. Yes. And you could see that in that viral video where that man dumped the whole plate of food because he didn't get served first. So the peons or peasants are now feeling like peons and peasants in their own home and they're failing and flailing because patriarchy is declining. You guys, you guys have seen it. It's the problem because everybody eats in this house today. You don't get the problem? No. I'm going to show you the problem. Excuse me, bro. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to show you the problem. I'm going to show you the That is so petty. I'm gonna show you. Nobody can eat. Nobody can eat. Nobody move. Don't touch me, Nobody can eat. 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 How about that? Y'all, and you know what? I want y'all in my house. Everybody, y'all get off. So you can get out. All that. All that. Wow. Wow. Nobody eats. Since I don't eat first, nobody eat. Y'all can get up, uh, get y'all, bro, get out, bro. I, 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 lay on, I'm done with this relationship. Lay on, I'm done with this relationship. We're done. And that's fine. You and your son can go. That's fine. I just like, you and your son so can go. Fine. You and your son so can go. Y'all can go. So I'll make him some curry chicken before me. How you gonna make him? But I, 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 how's that a big deal? Lay on, I pay for it. It don't matter. I pay for it. But it's not a big deal. Wow. It's not a big deal. No, bro. Man, I'll clean all that up. Y'all just get off. Get your son, y'all leave. Go. No. He ain't gotta get nothing. Y'all can just leave now, bro. I'll pack it. I'll, I'll come back. I'm, I'm here because I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna go out for these. Bro, get out of my house, bro. I am. Now, like, leave. Like, just, I, I'll pack your shit up. I want y'all out. Hey, little bro, y'all, you can go. This ain't even my mother. You in this house. Go. Let's go. Go. Get out of here. Go. Don't try to feed your son before me. Then we got this man, Jonathan, who has gone viral because he was stood up for a date. And I do understand the anguish and the hurt feelings that you get when someone stands you up. It definitely sucks. And what I want to point out is 
that I literally honestly believe that men but buy into these fairy tales. They have bought into the patriarchal um, Kool-Aid that they are entitled to a woman. Now, we don't know Jonathan. We don't know anything about him, but we do know that he was having a vulnerable moment on social media. And because he displayed some emotion, women, well, women and men, felt for him and I get it because men are not typically vulnerable like Jonathan was on social media but men have got to release the patriarchal fairy tale because we're not living it in anymore and simply dating someone for a couple of weeks and we don't know if he displayed any red flags we don't know what happened during the course that made that woman say mm -mm -mm. because online dating let's be real Let's be real. Let's use a touch of common sense. Online dating and dating for women in general is challenging. Um, we our safety is on the line. And when we go, when we feel some red flags, when we feel something in our gut, she, maybe she got scared. Maybe she ran away. I don't know. But what I do know is now, because this man was turned down, this man was stood up. Um, Keita Rose has a clip of him where she's talking about it and now he's gone savage now he is saying forget these b words and just going in on women because he was stood up now all women get to suffer people reject folks it's not easy this man in this video was talking about online dating and dating should be hard what and that's life going through the process is challenging and getting stood up once having a breakup is not the the key the ticket to treating people wrong that have not impacted your life but that's an excuse and now this person is going to turn into yeah the bad guy at first he was talking about he's a good guy he's kind he but that's why we put good guy in quotation marks because just as soon as something goes wrong that good guy switch can turn off this is why we need to just deprogram that men are no longer simply entitled to a woman's time, space, or energy simply by being born a man. It's not the way it is. Women have to like you, be attracted to you. You have to have some emotional intelligence and all of that. But you guys weigh in. An adult male was stood up even though he brought flowers to the date and everyone was on his side. I mean, the comments were like, let me go find her. I'm going to beat her ass. You don't deserve this. Um, I, I think you're a great guy, even though we don't know this man. <laughs> ah! And I am in no way, shape, or form saying that this man does not deserve sympathy, but I'm just here to merely offer another perspective. I left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up, and apparently I got stood up. Like, alien dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. <laughs> One misconception that he and a lot of people seem to have is it shouldn't be hard to find love. It shouldn't be hard to find my husband or my wife or the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. It should absolutely be hard to find the person you're going to spend the rest of your life with. Everything worth having was hard to get. Nothing came easy. Graduating, raising kids, buying a house, buying a car, all difficult processes that we all have to go through. Why do you think love will just fall on your lap? Then we should ask ourselves, are the people that we are attracted to attracted to us? Because a lot of the times we want to love people that wouldn't even like us. That may be your type, but you might be that person's last resort. We see this a lot with men and women. We have unrealistic expectations of what dating should be. And then when we're let down, we internalize it as failures well what did i do wrong nothing why do you think you did something wrong because after two weeks of conversation you believe that you knew enough about a person's character whether or not they were reliable whether or not they were compatible with you good mothers good fathers good people you could not have possibly known that within two weeks of communication another thing we do is take one bad experience and say that's all men that's all women i dated a short guy he cheated on me all short men cheat <laughs> no you had one bad experience now he online talking about and this is why you never help anybody out fellas no compassion it's all savage season do this fellas i know it sounds up but it's true and that's why i question whether or not he was a nice guy because he's online talking about yeah man treat them all like i bought this roses from albertson's and she stood me up treat them bad i haven't heard many nice guys speak like that but maybe that's just me <laughs> i hope he finds love <laughs>
Subscribe to our family adventure channel.